Hi guys, today I am doing another ASMR video. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done one, um, but before we get started, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is Bush. Um, Bush is a uh, self-care and sexual wellness brand. They sell things like vibrators, and I've talked about them in a couple other videos recently because I have an ongoing partnership with them and um, I just want to say thank you to them for sponsoring this and working with me. I think that they are a fantastic brand and they are promoting sexual wellness for everyone and um, I think it's really great to stop with the stigma about women self-pleasuring and enjoying sex in general. Um, so I just wanted to give a shout out to them and thank them again for sponsoring this video. And um, I do have a coupon code for you guys down below if you wanna check out any of their vibrators because they are fantastic. Um, so now let's get on with the video. Hi, how are you today? So I'm Dr. Ann. What's your name? Okay, great. Um, so today you are here for your skincare and acne and things like that, right? Okay, so let's check you in and then we'll get into some questions about your health and things like that. Um, and then we might do a few treatments just looking at your skin right now. Um, just like some couple in-office things and I will send you off with a skincare regime um, or at least some recommendations and then we'll talk again in a couple of weeks okay how does that sound wonderful so let's just get you checked in first so you said that your name was okay and how do you spell Great. thank you um, I just want to make sure I have all your information correct here your birth date Okay, your address, okay, phone number, um, email address, at, at gmail, okay, great, okay, and um, do you happen to know the last time you were at a dermatologist? I know this is your first time here. Okay, fantastic. Um, and what was that for? Was that treating acne or like your yearly mold check, things like that? Okay, great. Now, um, we have your insurance information on file um, and I just want to make sure that's still correct. So do you have that on you? Okay, great, perfect. That's all up to date. Okay, wonderful. Now I'm gonna get into asking you some questions about your health, your skin, and all that before we get into any treatment, okay? Okay, great. So um, I'd love to know, when did you start dealing with acne? Okay, and was it always how it is now, or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so it's gotten bad in the last six months. Um, has anything changed in your life during this last six months? Okay, more stress that can definitely cause some more acne and breakouts. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? Diet, health, any medications? Nothing new? Okay. Great. Now, are you on any medications, even if you've been on them for a longer period? Okay, great. That's good. Any supplements? Okay. Um, and how have you been treating your acne on your own, things over the counter? Mm-hmm. Okay, and do you use face masks? Okay. I know that you did email me, um, or you emailed the office a while back um, with your list of products that you've been using. I took a look at that earlier today, and um, I'm not, um, 
disappointed. <laughs> um, I'm actually pretty impressed with the products. You're using a lot of very simple um, dermatologist recommended products, so I think that's great. Um, your routine doesn't seem to be too um, over the top or have too many products. Nothing in your um, routine seems to have any fragrance or ingredients that I would advise against, so I think you're doing everything there great. Um, so I really wouldn't change or take away anything that you're using. Um, once we talk a bit more, I'll start recommending some things um, that you can add in or use sporadically. But um, for now, I'm actually very happy with that. But as you know, um, acne isn't always caused by topical products and we're putting on your skin, but sometimes within your body and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um, what is your diet like? Okay, and do you eat um, meat and dairy? Okay, and fish? Okay, great. And how much water would you say you drink on a daily basis? Okay, great. And do you drink alcohol? Okay. And do you smoke? Do you use recreational drugs? No. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, guess everything is confidential. I don't have to report anything. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, just take a look here. Do you notice that your breakouts get more severe during that time of the month or during any specific time of the month? Okay, pretty much the same throughout the month, okay. Um, now you said you've been dealing with acne for about five years. With the last six months, it's gotten a little bit more um, heavy and kind of all over. I can see that, yeah. Um, so when you had acne for those five years, how would you describe it? Would it be cystic breakouts, hard, painful ones under the skin, um, pustules, whitehead, blackheads? And it was just a few, like, randomly all over? Or was it, like, a specific area? Okay. Oh, okay, so that was definitely more, like, hormone-related, but it wasn't too bad. It was something you could deal with. Okay, um, so now what I'm seeing is a mix of different types of breakouts, and it is kind of, you know, spread out forehead, chin, cheeks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you about your skin. Um, would you describe your skin as oily or dry, combination, sensitive? sensitive okay so what kind of reactions do you get and from what ingredients do you know okay uh-huh okay so i did notice that your um skincare routine is very gentle which is fantastic um, but you said that you do notice that a lot of your um, acne gets aggravated when you try things like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. Okay, and what reaction is that? Do you break out? Do you get severe sort of dryness, itchiness, redness, irritation? Okay. Okay. That's really useful because there are certain ingredients and products I would normally recommend for your type of skin, um, but that I won't be recommending because of your sensitivities. We definitely don't want to aggravate the skin or make it any worse. Okay. Okay, great. Um, do I know this is an odd question, but do you wash your face in the shower or at the sink? Good. Washing your face in the shower can actually be very dehydrating to the skin because your water that you use in the shower tends to be a lot hotter than what I would recommend for the skin. Mm hmm Yeah. And now, do you wear makeup? And how often? Okay. And how do you remove your makeup? Okay, great. Do you find that you break out more on days where you wear makeup? No? Okay, great. Um, sorry, I lost my place. <laughs> okay, um, sorry. Um, 
actually that looks like it's it for my questions for now. I might ask more, but what I'm going to do at the moment is actually take a look at your skin up close. If that's okay with you, I may need to touch you. Okay. Um, and I'm also going to do some treatments after this. We are going to do some extractions because I do see some of your um, breakouts are definitely extractable things that I think that could definitely be removed in office and then we're going to treat them and instead of with any ingredients that may cause you to react we're going to use a light therapy treatment just for specific areas though because I don't want to over treat I really want to see how your skin reacts um, and then I will give you some suggestions afterward okay okay great so I'm going to come in a little bit closer, all right? Okay. Yeah, I see you do have um, some breakouts near your hairline. Um, are you, have you been using any new hair products in the last six months? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, are any of these spots painful for you? Mm hmm Okay. Um, now, you did say your skin is sensitive, but does it feel tight as well, especially in the center? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm not feeling a lot of oiliness either. I would actually refer to your skin as normal, acne-prone, and sensitive. Yeah. So you only have what looks like two cystic breakouts right now, and they're not too bad, really. Um, most of your breakouts are oddly on the outside of your face, which is telling me that it's not just hormones, but it could be your hair products. Uh-huh. Um, I want to recommend just when you are in the shower, make sure you're really scrubbing around the hairline um, and rinsing all your shampoo, conditioner out. And if you are going to put any product in your hair after the shower, whether that be like an oil, leave-in conditioner, um, even dry shampoo, that you really protect your skin here. Mm hmm Yeah because it does kind of look like a little bit of dermatitis, almost. Um, it looks like you're having some kind of an acne reaction. Um, that can often happen if there's coconut oil in your hair products, if you have a sensitivity to that. And because you are so sensitive, um, that might be it. So if you do have coconut oil in your hair products, I would recommend kind of pulling away from those for two weeks and seeing how your skin reacts, okay? Okay. So, what I'm going to do is take a tool here. This is an extractor. Um, there's two sides to it. I'm going to be using this one. Um, and I'm going to extract some of your spots, okay? And then I'm going to clean this off between each one. And then we're going to go in with the LED light therapy, all right? Okay. So this may hurt. Um, it's not going to be painful, but it may just be, you know, yeah, you know what it feels like. Okay. here. Okay. Can you just turn? Great. Thank you. Okay. Were there any that you came in today wanting to have extracted? Okay, great. Um, so that wasn't actually as much as I thought it would be. A lot of your spots are definitely dermatitis related. They're not exactly clogged pores based on internal oils, but it looks like you're having a reaction to something. So I do think it's probably from coconut oil. It's just really the look that I'm getting from other clients. That's usually what it looks like. But right now what we're going to do is use this product here. This is an LED light therapy treatment. It's quite small, so it's really going to be potent on those specific areas, okay? Okay. So you can close your eyes if you like, but you don't have to. The red light isn't going to um, irritate your eyes. But um, although it looks red, it has both red 
and blue light therapy within it, so we're going to be using anti-inflammatory and antibacterial light therapy, okay? So you should actually see a difference by the time you go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to email you a link to this treatment because this is something you can use at home as well. It's FDA approved. Um, I'm going to send you a link and then also a coupon code so that you can get it yourself at home. Okay? Okay, great. Um, you don't have to buy it by any means. Um, it is not the cheapest product out there. But um, if you do find that after today's treatment, you like how your skin is looking, um, this is something you can definitely continue to use because honestly, other than um, the spots around your hairline that do seem to be from a uh, reaction, your other spots are pretty sporadic and just like randomly placed. So this is the kind of thing that would totally work for you um, and it won't have any side effects that you would have with, you know, more intense ingredients, things like that. Okay, you ready? This you're not going to feel anything, okay? This is going to be a quicker treatment too, okay? Um, we're going to do only a few, like 30 seconds in each spot. Um, at home when you do this, you can do it much longer because you have all the time in the world um, and it will shut off, the device will shut off after about two or three minutes when the treatment's done, okay? Okay. Okay, now I'm going to send you that email right now, actually, before I forget, okay? Get that link for you. Great. Okay, so great, you already got it. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, and like I said, um, I definitely recommend um, cutting down on coconut oil in your hair products. Definitely just cut that out for about two weeks. See how your skin does because right now what I'm looking at makes me think that um, that's definitely going to make a big difference for you, okay? Um, keep using your skincare routine as normal. Um, if you do decide to buy this product, this is something you're going to want to use after you wash your face but before you use any products on it. Okay, um, it's also very easy to clean. You can just use a, you know, cloth and wipe off the screen or the light, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great, great. Um, really, that's all my recommendations today. I really think that what you're experiencing is a reaction. So, um, in two weeks, give me a call. Um, if I don't hear from you, we will reach out via email um, to see how your skin is doing. And if you don't see a react, um, if you don't see an improvement after um, the reduction of coconut oil, um, I will have you come back in, or we can do a virtual visit. Um, and I will recommend some topical products, but I will do my research and make sure I'm recommending only things that are very sensitive, kind of low doses, um, specifically for your skin. I may also recommend some other products, topical treatments that you can buy at the store. Um, it seems like your diet is really good. You're drinking enough water. I did forget to ask how much sleep you're getting on average. Okay, that seems pretty good too. Um, so I'm really not too concerned with your health. Um, I feel like you're doing everything right. Sometimes we just get acne and it's something that's there and annoying and all we can do is treat it instead of preventing it. Um, so I don't think that's the case, like I said, but we will talk in two weeks and see how it's going. Okay, do you have any other questions for me? Okay, great, then I will see you soon.
拜拜。